Hello my dear students, friends and everyone in academics who is to know and learn about disaster management policy. Today my topic is disaster management cycle. Now after this let us discuss what is disaster management cycle. We cannot stop natural disaster, but we can enhance and arm ourselves with knowledge. So many lives wouldn't have to be lost if there is enough disaster preparedness and management strategy. Disaster may occur suddenly or slowly, or it does not give us enough time to be well prepared for. We do not know what kind of disaster will occur, whether it is natural, human induced, biological and for instance when will it occur let us understand what is disaster management cycle disaster management cycle is a continuous cycle of planning organizing training equipping exercising validating and taking corrective actions in an effort to ensure effective coordination during an incidence of disaster why disaster management is required? Because it is a difficult situation, an emergency. Big problem and difficult to handle. In the midst of disaster, numbness and fear increases. We do not know how to react. So if not properly handled, it can create massive havoc magnitudes of disaster causing life casualty, damages to economy of a particular country. We do not know what kind of disaster will occur and when. So the best policy Now, what is disaster management definitions? An applied science which seeks by the systematic observations and analysis of disaster to improve measures relating to prevention, mitigation, preparedness, emergency response, and recovery. These are the, what are the components of disaster management cycle? We are going to study our stages and necessary strategies, phases involving tasks. Now, this system management cycle consists of four. The first thing is preparedness, then comes response, then comes recovery, then comes mitigation. This is a cycle. The first is definitely preparations. It is actually before a disaster strikes. A lot of planning and arrangements need to be done. Then when a disaster occurs, emergency situations, when a disaster strikes, so that response is required. It is a field operations. And you can call this uh, uh, recovery. Recovery is, is flowing a disaster or uh, you can call it after made a disaster. Uh, lots of reconstruction ac activities uh, need to be done. Uh, rehabilitations of stranded people, giving them shelter. Then comes mitigations. Mitigation is what you call <clears throat> the lesson learns of totality so in order to reduce the future disaster then uh, it will it will try to join into different uh, like risk analysis vulnerable zones and accordingly we will study and mitigate the plant so this is our preparedness preparedness is is the important key so it involves what? It is the first stage, activities prior to, to a disaster, preparedness plans. Then we need to involve with training systems. Then you see what we are high level uh, meetings done at uh, various level, international level, national level, armed forces and different NGOs, humanitarian grounds, uh, man, uh, rescue teams. So this is of preparedness is usually regarded as comprising measures which enable government organization, organizations, communities and individuals to respond rapidly and effectively to disaster situation. Now second comes the response. Activities during a disaster. This is actually a field, field operation. Disaster now have, have occurred and now people are in a danger. Their moral lives need to be saved. 
So you see the picture here, uh, the rescue team is going with the helicopter, uh, trying to save the life of the people, the remaining lives. Otherwise, uh, these people can lose their lives. So see the definitions here, involves what? Search and rescue is the most important thing, evacuation measures, survey and assessment. Uh, trying to save the people, mass evacuations, maintenance of law and order, which are being damaged, needs to be reconstructed to, to give to a normal. So this process will continue unless everything becomes normal, like temporary housings, claim processing, grants, medical care. So you see the definitions here, uh, level of functioning, flowing a disaster. So three things are very important here, restorations, reconstructions, rehabilitations. Reconstruction activities, you see the houses being damaged, being rebuilt again or given a permanent settle by the government or by the different agencies. The fourth stage is mitigation. Mitigation is actually a lesson learned, a totality, a lesson learned from a disaster. Uh, what things what things have been uh, backslided or where is the wrong and uh, where which place are more disaster prone zone, vulnerability prone zones, why uh, those places are more disaster prone zone. This will be effectively studied to minimize and cause the disaster in the near future. Then accordingly, they will try to plan the policy. You see, in case of pandemic, uh, uh, spraying uh, disinfectant powders, uh, helping the people, medical as assistant, building codes. So all this process involves the mitigations. Then after mitigation against the planning comes. This is a vicious cycle. Uh, see, reducing hazards, reducing vulnerability, risk analysis, preventive measures is one of the most important component of mitigation measures, see, survival tools and kits. Principles of disaster management includes risks and hazards assessment. Yes, uh, categorizing which place, which place is more uh, hazard prone zone, which place is more risk planning. We need to have proper, well proper planning organizations. Many humanitarian organizations need to be from resource utilization, resource within limited needs to be well planned. Need for specialists like doctors, scientists, geologists, experts, economists, meteorologists. All these things needs to come together, then training needs to be imparted to the civilians so that they can cough up uh, in a better manner when a disaster strikes. So you see disaster will always happen. All we need is all we need is resilience. Now what is resilience? Resilience the capacity to recover quickly from difficult and tough situations. All nation society must build resilience. Otherwise, it is bad enough to devastate the life and economy of a country. It has potential enough to set the foundation of a nation and create a trauma situations among the civilians. Disaster will always happen. It has occurred in the past and will occur in the present or near future. So it is our job and duty to prepare for it. All we need to have is resilience. Thank you so much for watching patiently. The interested audience and students in the YouTube and online scrollers. For more updates, subscribe my YouTube link. I'll be coming more with the video lessons. So for the timing, wish you a good day. Take care and bye. Thank you.